Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about the absolute worst, the worst probably pay-per-view I think I've ever gotten to know because I didn't even pay for it. The Dylan Dennis versus Logan Paul slash KSI versus Tommy Fury pay-per-view event. That was by far the worst event I think I've ever just like watched clips of or just like, like I'm so glad I didn't buy it. I just want to say that right off the bat absolutely horrific matches now i will go into detail kind of about 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 the matches themselves but if you did pay for that match if you paid to see those people fight i really think you should reconsider how to spend your money especially when you can just watch it the day after right you're going to find out right after there's going to be clips everywhere so um yep last night i was hanging out right on the couch, and I saw the news that Logan Paul won by disqualification. Didn't even see the match, right? But automatically I knew Dylan Dennis must have done something that obviously got him disqualified. Decided to watch clips of the fight, and it was absolutely brutal. Like, when I tell you how bad that match was, there were, like, no punches thrown. Logan was honestly dominating him the entire time. I mean, Dylan, Dylan Dennis really sold this fight. Like, he did a really good job of selling it. I feel like if anyone deserves the biggest paycheck, it should be Dylan Dennis for just, like, making this fight as big as it actually was. But man, he looked awful. He looked awful in that ring. It was really brutal. Logan Paul again, I'm not saying that I'm any better, but like he does not look like a boxer. Like you watch him, he just doesn't. And he kind of does this thing where he like, you know, he tries to act like he's he's throwing the jabs and you know, it's just, uh, he just doesn't look good. His brother, Jake Paul, definitely looks much more of a boxer than Logan Paul does. But man, what a brutal match. And then obviously for it to end, you know, going to the clinch, Dylan Dennis goes for the guillotine, doesn't get it, gets dropped by Logan Paul. Then Logan, you know, tries to hammer fist him down on the ground, misses, that whole kind of thing. Absolutely just brutal, uh, horrible pay-per-view, horrible pay-per-view. Like, that was just, that was embarrassing. That that was the main card people paid for that. Um, now, going on to the KSI and Tommy Fury fight. Tommy Fury, I'm just going to say this, I really don't think he's a great boxer. I think he has a really strong family of people that are boxers, right? Um, but man, Tommy Fury just, it's like these fights. He just doesn't seem like he really gets it. It doesn't seem like it really sticks with him that this is something that he is really, really good at. Obviously he's a massive dude, massive shoulders, like, you know, good personality, but he is just not really, I don't think he's really cut out to be a top tier, uh, boxer. I think he's smart by just boxing people who are YouTubers, make a lot of money while you're at it. But no, I don't think he's a great boxer. And KSI, I mean, threw way more punches. Or actually, clinched a lot more. That's what I was going to say. KSI clinched a lot during that fight. Um, don't really know why. Um, but just clinched over and over and over again. I mean, to be honest, I do think KSI should have won that fight, in my opinion. Um, kind of weird how he didn't. I don't know. But I thought he should have won that fight. And I think it's... I'm not going to say it's rigged, but, like, the fact that people pay... Like, I just can't get my mind off that people pay to watch these guys. Like, I feel like when you go to see a sports team play, right, you pay to see a really good event. Like, that's the hope. That's that's what people wish when you go to an event. You wish to see the best event unfold. And when you know the people that are fighting, when you know, like, for example... Let's say you're a big Lakers fan and they're going to go up against the Knicks, right? It's like, that's not a really good event that you want to watch, right? You want to see the biggest names, the biggest stars. I felt like this was not really that type of event. Um, and, you know, it just didn't really make sense. And just like watching the fights, I hope people realize now, like, these are not people that you should be paying to see, right? 
like all the you know the talking that people bring up all the time about like logan paul and jake paul and how you guys don't like them you hate them it's like you're supporting them every single time you pay attention to these guys i mean right now i'm helping them by doing this video right maybe i don't get as many if not anywhere close to the views but like we're bringing that attention to them by talking about them all that kind of thing um man i just don't even know what to think i mean looking forward what's going to be next dylan dennis like man just the amount of talk that he did i really feel like people thought he was going to do better and that was just an embarrassment i mean if i were him maybe just continue to you know talk about logan paul and his wife get attention you know uh maybe do that if you're tommy fury i think you really need to reconsider you know do you just keep fighting these youtubers and you know that's going to be your career are you actually trying to be a boxer with a big name a better reputation uh if you're ksi right like what makes the most sense going forward i don't think tommy fury makes any sense whatsoever i don't think logan paul makes any sense i think if you have like someone like conor mcgregor's attention and he's willing to have an event like that i think people are really going to want to see that so i think for ksi he's probably the biggest winner out of all this if that actually goes through and then if you're Logan Paul, I mean, you have WB, you have the impulsive, uh, you know, podcast, he, he's making a lot of money. So it's like he can continue to do whatever. I feel like the biggest loser of this event by far is Dylan Dennis. Just didn't make any sense. Don't really know what was going on with him um, and just embarrassing. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to say. Horrible pay-per-view. I mean again like if you paid for it i'm sorry i'm not i'm not sorry for you you really shouldn't have paid for that um yeah that's that's a lot of money that you lost um and this just makes me appreciate ufc even more right like real fighters people who and when i say real fighters people that genuinely train people who take this very seriously you get to see an amazing amazing fights every single week um the main card may not always be the best but you're always going to be guaranteed to have some really really nice fights and yeah i just again i i'm so glad i did not pay for that event uh just just brutal that's all that's all i can really say so let me know in the down uh, in, the, in the comments down below who do you guys think is the biggest winner of that main card and are just the fights and who do you think is the biggest loser out of that down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video peace out bye